your Locked On Devils, your daily podcast on the New Jersey Devils, part of the Locked On Podcast Network, your team every day. Hi, this is Bryce Salvador, and you're Locked On Devils with Trey Matthews. I've had a little time to think about you know, this season. How proud are you of this group and what you guys have all accomplished together? Yeah, uh, you know, we had a really good group of, of guys, and obviously we did a, a really good job this year. And, um, you know, we would have liked to go deeper, but um, for us to where, get to where we got, you know, that's pretty good uh, coming from what happened the previous year. So um, it's still like, you know, obviously you're – frustrated but at the end of the day you know that's a pretty pretty remarkable year for us so it feels like just the first step in a way right yeah I mean um you know we said it after the game too I think uh everyone here knows we got a pretty bright bright future and um you know I think this year is a really good stepping stone for us and you know something that we'll be able to um continue to work off of and and build off of too Jack obviously before game five you were Question, what happened there? Yeah, I was just uh, a little banged up, so uh, it is what it is. You've shown, you, you You've shown tremendous improvement the last few years as you sit back and reflect on this historic season. Um, I just want to get your thoughts on uh, the, this season in general from your perspective and also the team's perspective because you guys, once again, you showed tremendous improvement and the whole team in general showed improvement. Yeah, I mean uh, – you know, you don't want to be the young group that, you know, everyone just keeps saying, oh, they're young, they're young, you know. We were a, a young team that took major steps, and, you know, now I think people are starting to realize we could be a really good team for the next bunch of years. So um, we did a good job, and, you know, like I said, we're looking to build off that. I know you, um, you've taken your game to new heights, but I'm curious to know, what are you going to work on during the course of the offseason so that way come next year you can even take it uh, higher? Yeah, just uh, – you know, the same formula, same things I've been doing to um, get better each and every year. And, you know, I'll continue to get better. So um, don't really change the recipe, kind of just uh, keep doing what works. Yeah, I've always uh, backed Lindy, and, you know, he did a great job getting us um, to this point. You know, we, like I said, we had a tremendous year, and, you know, Lindy did a great, a great job with us. So um, I think everyone should be proud of what we did this year. Especially the forwards able to help with the defense and breaking out his five man unit. How does that help your game? Yeah, it helps. I mean, uh, you know, I think this is stuff we talk about, um, you know, throughout the whole year. But, um, yeah, I mean, when you have better players, it, it helps. You know, we had a really good team this year. We had, we had really good players up and, up and down the lineup. So, uh, obviously, we were going to be better, and, you know, uh, we were. Jack, you got some guys with expiring contracts, Timo, Jesper, Eric, you kind of nudging them, like, let's get this done, run it back. Yeah, I mean, um, I'm not, like, the GM by any means, you know, uh, so it's not my, up to me, but, you know, I know, um, I know, I think I know they want to come back, I know, you know, but at, at, at the same time, like, um, like, it's, you got to get it done, too, you can't just talk about wanting to be in New Jersey, if you want to be in New Jersey, you got to just sign the deal you know so those guys are obviously obviously uh big parts of our team and we'd like to have them back and you know um they all did a a great job for us you know tougher for Timo coming in halfway through the year but you know Bradder and uh Halsey they were they were staple guys for us all year and we we want them back and obviously Timo um we'd (coughs) like him back too how much of a target do you think the Devils will have on their backs entering next year knowing what you guys were able to accomplish this year uh, not that big, you know. Um, we had a good year, but at the end of the day, there's still teams out there playing hockey, you know. So um, that's the point we want to get to next. We uh, we want to be in the final four, and eventually we want to be pushing the cup final. So, um, I mean, I'd say there's teams with bigger targets on their back, but, you know, I don't think it'll be, you know, no one's going to uh, be like, oh, New Jersey snuck up on us, you know. It's going to be teams will be ready to play us, and, you um, you know, it'll be, uh, you know, we'll get a lot of good games next year. What was your favorite moment from the season? I know there was a lot, but I'm curious to hear what, what moments stuck out for you. Um, I mean, playoffs obviously the best, you know, so winning game seven against the Rangers, I think that was um, 
really special. And to beat those guys, that was, you know, we wanted to do that. So um, that was definitely the best moment, I'd say. What clicked for you to do even more? To come even, you know, if I can't do this for this part of the game, I'll do this. Yeah, I think, um, you know, obviously my first taste of the playoffs, but um, it's, it, it seems like it's like the guys, um, you know, guys step up in ways they usually don't step up, you know. Um, like, of course, people expect me to, you know, score goals or, or produce points, but I um, think it goes a long way with a block shot or a hit, and it's the same the other way. Like, obviously, Mikey McLeod gets the game seven uh, first goal, and, you know, obviously the boys are really pumped up because, you know, his job is face-offs and defensive and play physical, and, you know, when a guy like that chips in that way, it just – and that's just team camaraderie and um, – Guys chipping in and, and doing things they usually wouldn't do. Jack, Eric talked about something. I'm a I'm a huge Eric Hollow fan. You know, he came in and he did a great job for us. You know, providing um, like that leadership and you know experience. But you know, there's a difference between um, being in the locker room and and being a a voice and and then not backing it up. And you know, he's a guy that's been a gamer for us and pretty much played all the games all year. And you know. He's fighting, he's scoring, he's, he's penalty killing, he's power played. So he's just a character guy and, um, you know, he fit really well in our locker room and, you know, that's a guy we should bring back for sure. I, I, I got to talk about, about Lindy too. Um, Lindy's contract is up as well. Is that someone you, you would like to see back? Yeah, Lindy's done a great job with me and he did a great job with uh, the team this year and, you know, he's obviously in the the Jack Adams too, so he had a great year, and you know he's done a great job at this group. I, you feel I like could you guys have really set the foundation for long-term success here. Yeah, I mean we we, we knew we had a good core, um, but now like you know obviously Nico, he's got the Selkie, uh, Luke. We we didn't know what Luke would be like, but he came in and proved how good he'll be. We got uh, myself, we got obviously Schmid. He came in VTech, you know, so we got a lot of good young pieces there and. I think everyone took a step this year, and um, yeah, I think we're building something good here, and we're in, we're in a good spot heading into next year. I gotta ask you uh, this because we know how valuable valuable you are to this uh, team and roster, and your name was in there uh, in, in the running at times for the heart. Um, I gotta ask you, uh, come next season, is that something that's uh, on your bucket list or something that you see in your sights? Oh, I, I mean, the season ended two 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 days ago. I'm like. I'm gonna put my feet up the next couple of weeks. I'm not really too worried about that. Just how, proud, how proud are you of Luke and what he was able to, to yeah. do here? I'm really proud of Luke. You know, it's uh, big guts for him to step in and be put in that spot and, and play the way he did. And I'm really proud of the whole group, you know, um, from where we were. And even at the start of the year, we were down 2 0, or we lost the first two games. And it was almost like, here we go again. But. Um, we had a great group this year, and you know, we did a great job, and we had a great year. And I think everyone should be proud, and you know, um, and and be positive for for what we have in the future to, for, speaking, for it to come. I'm sorry. Speaking of guts, after Game Five, Lindy said he wasn't even sure that you would play. Obviously, you warmed up without taking line shifts. How close of a call was it? Uh, yeah, I didn't. I I don't know. I mean. Uh, like, I didn't think I was going to play, and same with Lindy, I'd say, but uh, it's different once you, like, get the adrenaline going and you do your things you need to do uh, before the game. And then, I mean, you're at the end of the day, you're a competitor, too. You don't want to be um, in the press box with the season on the line. So uh, I know I'd have a pit in my stomach if I was in the press box uh, for that game. So, yeah, just tied my skates and went out there and tried to do the best I can. Was there any kind of conversation after warm-ups, or you just said, I'm in? Oh, there was. There was conversations, you know. Um, like, if you can't help the team, then they don't want you in there. But um, I felt like I was ready to go, and obviously Lindy and Fitzy were good with that. So uh, that's how that decision was made. What are you the most What are you the most proud of from uh, your personal playing um, this season? Like, what what accomplishment that that you set out uh, and you achieved? Like, what sticks out? Yeah, I mean, um, I think you know I had a really good year and established myself as a, as a really good player in the league so I uh, think maybe like the goal scoring a bit I don't know if uh, anyone expected me to score 40 in my career let alone like like three years after everyone was calling me the biggest bust ever you know so 
Um, so that was that was good. But like I said, it's um, that's uh, that was a positive year for me and a good stepping stone. And you know, everyone in the room, that's you know, our big pieces. That's a uh, as a team, that's a big stepping stone year, and we should be a really confident group going into next season. Back back in Michigan, same same as always. There were um, a lot of players, obviously, that played a part in the regular seasons against the playoffs. In the playoffs, some of them struggled a little bit. Do you think there's too much emphasis put on postseason play and expectations put on players in postseason? I mean, athletes in general. I mean, uh, like, you got to, like, give credit where credit's due, obviously. Um, like, you got to get to the postseason, too. So guys that light it up in the regular season, you know, that's so important because uh, – you need, you know, you need to get to the dance before you can start talking about it. So, um, for for our guys that had gr- great years, that's what helped us get in the playoffs. And it's tough, man. You're playing Carolina over there. You're playing the Rangers. You know, two really good teams, and there's not much ice out there. It's tight and it's battle. It's battle tested. <clears throat> and uh, yeah, it's just it's tough hockey. You're not gonna just like skate around and go score. So that's something we learned, and we had to. Um, fight for our offense probably a lot harder in the playoffs but you know like I said that's playoffs good thanks don't worry there's still more in store but before we continue I want to tell you guys about DoorDash an OG sponsor of Locked On great that they are back with the network so need fresh groceries for the week but don't have the time to go to the store try grocery delivery from DoorDash you'll get everything you want delivered when you need it right to your door You've entrusted DoorDash to deliver your restaurant favorites, and now they can get grocery delivery that actually delivers, too. With thousands of grocery stores to choose from, you'll find the best in your neighborhood and boost your local economy with each and every order. You'll get exactly what you ordered, or they'll make it right. So sit back and enjoy quality groceries just like you picked them yourself. You want even more value? You can save all your grocery and restaurant favorites with a $0 delivery fee on all eligible orders with a DoorPass membership. With all easy substitutions right in the app and best in-class customer service, DoorDash delivers groceries exactly how you want it. So get 50% off your first DoorDash order up to a $20 value when you use the code LOCK at checkout. Limited time offer, terms apply. That's 50% off up to $20, no minimum subtotal, and zero delivery fees on your first order when you download the DoorDash app in the App Store and enter the code LOCK. Don't forget, that's LOCK for 50% off your first order with DoorDash. Okay, let's get back to today's episode. Take it away once again. What has it been like for you as a first-time player here um, as a veteran seeing everyone do what they did? I mean, if we look back at that year, it's it's pretty impressive. And um, I think if you look around the room, um, you can basically go through each stall and say, everybody took a huge step right and I think as a young group that's what you're looking for you're, you're looking for growth um, our record obviously speaks for itself I think I think the best thing about the the entire year is that people counted us out maybe not even making the playoffs and we made a run for first place and uh, even talking to uh, some of the guys in Carolina after the after we lost which obviously still stings but it's gonna sting for a little while here but um they were like you guys are really good and and took everybody by storm and that's a good thing to hear um they were like hey you guys were sniffing right behind us the whole time uh at the end of the year so like you guys you guys are a good club and and it sucks that you want to win the last game of the year right And, and and hoist the cup uh, it's not in our cards this year, but uh, what we did, we just want to keep improving from that and um, and take that uh, a bigger step next year. And uh, I guess that's the focus for here. We're, we're going to do all our exit meetings and uh, try to get everybody on the same page for the summer and come back and get uh, get prepared. And I, I think, in my mind, the the fan base has been waiting for this Mm -hmm. for a very long time and it was uh, it was fun to have them pack the pack the house um, enjoy be loud and and, uh, get some excitement back for 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 the devils and for me it was very exciting to be a part of it the mental side of it yeah I think the mental you're right the mental side is 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 a big part Uh, that's what these meetings and everything from here 
uh, is try to is to get everybody on the same page, mm -hmm. figure out what they want to do for the summer, uh, their summer workouts, talk to Joe, figure out uh, how we can keep getting better because that's what we want to do. Like we want to win the last game of the year, and for us, we have to figure out how to do it today. And we're going to figure out what we, what we have to do. Um, and get everybody on the same page because that's the goal to win it all. And we want we want to give it to our fans. They they deserve it. And uh, and we have a team. We have the team to win. So um, with the guys getting a little bit older, uh, obviously there's going to be some there's contracts and, and and whatever. And the team could be a lot different than than what it is right now. But uh, for the people that are, are are signed and coming back, uh, just get on the same page and get ready for. Uh, get themselves ready for the next year. Brendan, how, how do you think uh, Lindy was able to manage you know, the mix that you've had here with the young players and the veterans? What was it like day in, day out? With yeah, I, I I know we're just talking about Lindy, but I would say the whole coaching staff. I mean, it, it, it's not just Lindy. There's, there's uh, a lot of there's a lot back there that are, are helping this team grow and, and then put everybody on the same page. It's tough to have a team this young um, and be that successful like we were this year, it, it's pretty impressive. So you have to have everybody on the same page, pulling the same rope. And uh, I thought Lindy and, and the guys did a good job. Um, and now that we're a little bit older, I think we can kind of gear this in to be uh, one of the people, or one of the teams that like are the highest odds to win next year. And, th and that's what we want. That's what we're, we're gearing towards. Obviously, like I said, there's a lot of contract stuff that we have to be done and team can look different way different than what it is right now with drafts and and whatnot but um at the moment uh we're trying to figure out how to keep getting this this uh this club moving in the right direction was there a time this year brendan oh, hold on <laughs> was there was there a time this year because i remember talking the preseason and you and some of the other vets said hey there's a lot of talent here but a lot we have to do to get it together when did you realize that like the talent was coming together and this could be a, a really special group it's a great question um I think it started right before the season. I thought we were starting to like get on the same page just before the season. I, we felt pretty good about it. Obviously, we lost the first two games, and then there was fire Lindy chance and the whole thing. But once we beat what was it, Anaheim, I believe, yep. and then uh, we started started a little bit of a roll there. Um, so you could say Anaheim. I don't believe it was Anaheim. I think it was a little bit before that. Unfortunately, we lost the first two games. And uh, then you just get like the same old devils kind of thing, but that's not how we felt. And then once we won that game and then started that push, um, yeah, that's kind of when we were like, guys like my, myself, I can't speak for like Pally or whatnot, but like I felt like, hey, this is starting to come together. It felt like for me, hearing the stories in the past that it was changing at that moment. So that was, that was exciting. And then, then what we did from there was pretty impressive and it was fun for all of you guys it's fun for for us and it's uh because like we're all on the same page we're all trying to move this this ship forward and and um get everybody in 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 jersey on the same page and i thought we did a good job of that and uh i i really truthfully believe that the sky's the limit with this club i mean you got jack's just he, i don't even know if he's reached his full potential right so and you have a young captain and nico like there's so much untapped potential and and we're, we're we're getting close but so i think that guys like pally and even Halla and like the older guys trying to help these guys go through it i think it was uh it was a very successful year in my in my in my book the more games we played the better we were it, it it's hard because i i remember it, it feels like yesterday my first playoff run and every game i got better and i'm I know I'm older now, but like I'm still getting better in playoffs because it's just the more you do something, the better you're going to be at it. And that's what we were seeing. I thought since going through it, the games, we just got better. And it's just a familiarity for what playoff hockey is. It's different than the regular season. You guys know it. We see it. It's once you're actually lace them up and you're out there, you're like, wow, this is a totally different game. And you have to adjust to it. And we did a good job with the coaching staff to adjust to certain Team, team systems and, and how the Rangers play to how Carolina played. And we did a good job with that. So um, understanding what playoff hockey is a big thing and to get that many games, it's just going to make the club better. I know you, you, you like you guys have uh, built the foundation to be in this position this deep in the season year after year. 
That's a great question. I think I th that's hard because in the salary cap world, it's it's tight. It's hard to win on a nightly basis. And I think I said it before I came in. Uh, my first interview was we just want to be hard to play against and, and try to uh, find a way to get points, right? Because at the end of the day, ties you're getting one point you've got to find a way to get points to get into the sh into the dance because anybody can win and you're seeing it like anybody can win um but you have to get a ticket to the dance so i think we have i gotta tip your hat to to the staff because i think they put a good group together um but it's hard to keep that going and um that has to do that's gonna lean on a lot of the the coaching staff i don't know what's gonna happen i think lindy's might be up right and other things so think lots of changes but uh the dynamic and the core that they've created here i can see that for sure that it could be uh something that the the fan base will be happy for a while you talked about being a veteran on this team and obviously uh you talked about how uh, the team can improve and i know that the play playing time wasn't all that consistent what are you going to work on so that way we can see you on the rink uh every day kind of thing yeah for myself, um, I can't control how if I'm in or not. Um, I'm proud of myself because I think that I can still play, and that's a good thing for myself. Uh, there's times where you doubt yourself because you're not in the lineup, but I wake up and I show up and I bring it in practice regardless. And um, I didn't have as many playoff games as I hoped, but my playoff games that I played and I came in, I thought I played very well. And uh, so that's what I'm proud of. For me, I've been doing this for a long time. I'm just gonna continue to do uh, what I've done in the last previous years and uh, and just get myself ready and prepared for the season. Um, like I said, I, I, I liked my year. I was, I was happy with how I played. Um, you get what you get with me. It's 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 uh, it's pretty simple, um, and I'm not going to change that. I just kind of uh, uh, bring it every day, and and uh, and hopefully next year I'll be uh, as good and maybe better. So, but that's uh, the, that's an interesting question. But that's that's something that I'll uh, I'll try to work on in the, in the summer is, is keep getting stronger and. and uh, be prepared. Brendan, what are the, what are the challenges? Well, I think my game is still good. I think I can still play in this game, in this league. I think I'm, uh, I, I help the team. Um, but I actually believe that maybe my leadership and my, my vocal game might be more impactful to this kind of club than my actual game on the ice. And there's things that when there's uh, TV timeouts or whatever, that's when I have to talk and be vocal and keep everybody on the same page and make sure that we're all moving in the same uh, direction. And uh, a lot of times you just need players like this. And I, and I understand that. I will never say that my game isn't good because I know that I can still play in this league. And uh, I'm a top six in my opinion. And uh, other people can have their own opinions, but for me, that's how I feel. And uh, I'm gonna keep trying to uh, help this this club club move in the right direction help these younger guys grow because when they do the team will get better and we will continue to be like you said uh something for the fans to be work to be able to watch for years to come because we have that core group 